everybody we were revising lesson number 1 food and health in the previous session we discussed about the various nutrients present in food so what are they the five main nutrients present in food are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals we also discuss about the source of nutrients for example the sources of carbohydrates are bread noodles chapati wheat rice etc the sources of fats are oil ghee butter etc the sources of protein are egg meat fish etc the sources of vitamins and minerals are various fruits and vegetables we also discuss what are these nutrients called as for example carbohydrates and fats give us energy that's why they are known as energy giving nutrients proteins help to build our body muscles etc that's why they are known as body building nutrients vegetables and fruits pr protect us from various diseases that's why they are called as protective food now let us discuss about few more topics from this lesson now this is question number 1 match the following what you have to do on the left hand side we have few words on the right hand side we have what do they these words mean what you have to do you have to match the words with the meanings for example the first one is dehydration now what is the meaning of dehydration are you ready with your answer so dehydration means removing water the next one sweetening what is the meaning of sweetening that is adding sugar sweetening means adding sugar the next one salting salting means adding salt canning what is the meaning of canning food is sealed in cans the next one is pickling what is pickling preserve using oil and salt the last one is refrigeration what is the meaning of refrigeration that is to keep products in the refrigerator now what is the meaning of all this how do these things help to preserve the food now as you know all these are the methods of preservation of food drying means taking out water by putting it in sunlight now when water is removed the microorganisms cannot survive because they require water to survive in this way the food can be preserved for a long time sweetening and salting in this methods also the salt and sugar remove excess of water from the food items thereby they reduce the growth of microorganisms canning means food is sealed in the cans before that the food is boiled so that whatever microorganisms are present they are killed pickling means to preserve using oil or salt refrigeration means to keep products in refrigerator because 
on low temperatures microorganisms cannot grow as they can grow outside or or on the room temperatures that's why foods are preserved when we keep it in the refrigerator now next one the question is give one word for the first one is the substance added to food to prevent spoilage what is it called preservative or preservation and the answer is preservative preservative is a substance which is added to food which helps the food to be in a good condition for a long time now the next one the diet that gives us right amount of all the nutrients as well as water and roughage is called a balanced diet or a nutritious diet what is the answer the answer is balanced diet the diet that gives us right amount of all the nutrients as well as water and roughage is called a balanced diet now what are disease causing organisms known as bacteria or germs the answer is germs disease causing organisms are known as germs removing water from food items is called as drying or canning what is it called what is the correct answer yes the correct answer is drying it is one of the methods of preservation of food let us go and see the next answers and questions now the next question is choose the correct option now here the question is given and four options are there from which you have to choose the correct answer for the given question first one we keep food in the refrigerator because first it does not look good outside second it occupies lots of space outside the food gets spoiled at a faster rate in warm places last one all the above which is the correct answer the correct answer is c the food gets spoiled at a faster rate in warm places and when we keep it in the refrigerator at low temperatures microorganisms do not grow that fast that why we keep food inside the refrigerator spoiled food is very hot not fit for eating very healthy what is the answer the answer is b now, so the next question is which among these method should be followed while cooking food first is wash fruits after cutting them over cooking wash vegetables before cutting them use extra water and throw away the water afterwards the answer is c wash vegetables before cutting them because if wrong methods are followed the nutrients in the food are lost now the next question is true or false now the first one microbes cause food to spoil is it true or false the answer is true microorganisms grow in the food like molds bacteria etc and spoil the food next one nutrients are lost because wrong methods are used to cook or store food what is the correct answer is it true or false that's true nutrients are lost because wrong methods are used to cook or store food now a person with a disease 
feels nice. Is it true or false? What is the answer? The answer is false. A person with a disease does not feel well. He, he or she doesn't feel like doing anything. The next one, all diseases are caused by very tiny living things called germs. Is it true or false? The answer is false. All the diseases are not caused by germs. Next one, for a balanced diet, you have to eat food from each of the group every day. Is it true or false? That's true because for a balanced diet, for making the selection of balanced diet easier, foods have been divided into four groups. Cereal group, milk group, vegetable and food group and protein group. And for a balanced diet, you have to eat food from each of the group every day. Now, eating fresh food can cause food poisoning. Is it true or false? That is false. Eating spoiled food causes food poisoning. Now, choose the odd one out. First is salt, sugar, juice and vinegar. Which is the odd one out? The answer is juice because salt, sugar and vinegar are the preservatives. Next one, salting, sweetening, frying and canning. What is the odd one, odd one out? The answer is frying because salting, sweetening and canning are the methods of preservation of food. Cereal group, fiber, milk group, protein. Which is the odd one out? The odd one out is fiber because rest are the food groups which makes a balanced diet. Next is germs, molds, pickling, food poisoning. What is the odd one out? The odd one out is pickling because rest all are related to poisoning of food. Rice, chapati, bread and meat. Which is the odd one out? The correct answer is meat because rice, bread and chapati belong to the carbohydrate group whereas meat belongs to the protein group. Now, if someone is eating this food, what kind of diet he or she is having? Super diet or balanced diet? The correct answer is balanced diet. Now, we have to label the food groups in the given figure. For example, this figure contains four food groups. Can you tell where? See, this is one food group. This is another one. Label the food groups in the given figure. Now, do you know how many food groups does this figure contain? Let us see. This is first one. This is second one. Third group and fourth group. So, in this way, this figure contains four food groups. Let us look at what these groups are. So, the first one, can you see here, all the milk products are in this group. So, this is milk group. 
this one here can you see fish eggs meat etc so this is protein group this one vegetable and food fruit group the next one cereal group as it contain biscuits potato and all the cereal all the items made of cereals so this is cereal group in this way we saw four different types of groups which make our diet a balanced diet so what are they cereal group milk group protein group vegetable and food fruit group now you have to identify the method of preservation which is shown in the given figure is it salting sweetening canning or drying what is the correct answer the correct answer is canning here food is preserved in cans this one which method of food preservation is used in this picture the answer is salting because fish and various other products are coated in salt and preserved by the method of salting this is sweetening salting canning or drying which method of preservation is shown in the figure the answer is sweetening by adding excess of sugar the food items are preserved in this method which in this picture which method of preservation of food is used canning salting sweetening or drying the answer is drying so today we discuss about balanced diet what all the nutrients should be there in the balanced diet and how the food is divided into food groups so that we can have a balanced diet we also discuss about various methods of preservation of food we are going to end this session here